All right, so is this one very easy to go ahead and figure them out? No, it's not that bad, but we can, I'd probably say the easy thing to, you know, what we could do is start with x being 0, right? And so when x is equal to 0 and that y equals 0, that's negative 1. So I just want to make sure we have that one good. Um, here it's going to be 2 minus 1, so that's going to be a positive 1. x is 0. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 1. That's 0. Sorry. And then this one would be positive 1. There you go. OK? Yes? That's the easy one out of the way. And now we can just kind of look into plugging in the rest of these. So when this is equal to uh, negative 1, so basically that's going to be a negative 1 half. And then we could say you know, plus 0 minus 1. So that's going to be a negative 2 over 2. So that's a negative like 3 halves, which is like 1 half. So it's going to be a little bit steeper, something right there. And then this would be a negative 1 half and then plus 1 and then minus 1. So that's like a negative 1 half, so that's a little bit less. And then we could do this one to be a negative 1 half, <coughs> negative 1 half, and then let's see, plus 2, minus 1. So it's really plus 1, which is going to be a positive 1 half. Yep. Kind of looks like that. And then we can just do the same thing, but now these are all going to be, um, now it's all going to be positive 1 half, because x is equal to 1. So positive 1 half minus 0 minus 1 half, so that's going to be a negative 1 half. And then at 1 comma 1, so that's 1 half. So that's going to, just going to be a positive 1 half, which is a slow slope. And then we're dealing with uh, 1, 2. So that would be 1 plus 2, so 1. So 1 half, so that would be 3 halves. Kind of a pretty steep slope there. Yeah, kind of, más or menos. All right. All right, so that's just our general. That's, there we go. That's our one point. We want to make sure that any time that it's equal to 1, um, you know, that we're 1 or negative 1, we want to make sure those are good 45s. The rest of these, we just really want to make sure that you know, they're a little bit greater or positive or negative. So let's get to the next one. Uh, the next one is finding the second derivative. So here's the first derivative. Now we've got to look at the second derivative. And then it says, and determine when the graph is concave up. And what do we know about when the graph is concave up based on the second derivative? When it's positive, right? So let's go and find the second derivative. So we can say d squared y over d 